Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we are taking that yogurt back again because it was never theirs. I'm going to start today by asking you what's your favourite shop-bought yogurt because I'll look at those comments down there and maybe I'll make one of them as a homemade and knock the socks off of whatever you can buy in the supermarket. Today we're going to be making a caramelised or a salted caramelised toffee yogurt, one of my favourites. Now, I want a saucepan to start with, with a nice heavy base. We're just going to pop, we're going to make our caramelised toffee. We're going to pop one cup of sugar into there and about half a cup of water. Now, let's pop this over onto the stove. Now, we're going to bring this up to a boil, let the sugars dissolve. I'm going to be using a candy thermometer. We want to bring this up to hard crack, so it's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 150 degrees Celsius. So it's going to take about 10 minutes or so. So join me back here when the caramel or toffee is ready. Now, when my sugar is boiling like that, I don't want to be stirring it, otherwise it will crystallize. We're just going to wait until that comes up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius, and we're going to take it off the heat. Now, you see our sugars have come up to temperature and there's a little bit of caramelization in there, beautiful color. Now, come over here. I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of butter and pop it straight into that caramel. I'm going to give it a stir through. Now this will make it colour slightly. Now this will give it a lovely glossiness. Now as that starts to cool down, I'm going to pour that caramel out onto a silpat. Now you could pop this onto a baking paper. Now whilst the caramel is cooling down, we're just going to take some wonderful flaked salt, a little bit of fleur de sel, the best that you can get. We're just going to sprinkle it over the top of this caramel as it cools. Now look at that, literally minutes later, we've got this wonderful disc of salted caramel. Now, what we need to do is just take a sheet of baking paper, we're gonna pop that over the top, and then I'm going to use the back of my chef's knife and I'm just going to break this salted caramel up. Now you could use a rolling pin as well. Now, before I completely break this up, I might want to keep a few big shards like this, just maybe pick out some pretty ones because I might decorate the top of my yogurt with these. But the rest of it, we're just going to break up. Now, you can decide how small you want to break it, but you're gonna end up with this wonderful salted caramel. So I've got my home set yogurt. Now, if you haven't seen how to make this yogurt, we'll be making it again in a moment. You can get across to my channel and check out the whole series that we're doing on homemade yogurts. Now look down here, look at that beautiful salted caramel. Isn't that delicious? Now what I want to do is take some of this lovely set yogurt. Now I know a lot of you call it yogurt. We're gonna put about a tablespoon in the bottom of a glass like that. And then we're gonna take some of this salted caramel and just gonna drizzle a little bit inside there. Now I've already tasted this and it is absolutely delicious caramel, by the way, just on its own. You could serve this with all sorts of desserts and puddings, ice creams. Let's take some more of our pure, unadulterated, untreated, unsweetened yogurt and pop it on top. And don't forget, we've got to keep at least a teaspoon of our yogurt back to make the next batch. And there they are, two wonderful yogurts. Of course, we are going to sprinkle that salted caramel over the top as well. Now I kept a few shards. I'm just going to stick a shard in there just for decorative purposes. And now you are going to serve a yogurt or yogurt that is just going to be absolutely heavenly. Now I know you wish you could trade places with me today, but I'm going to have to give this a go for you. If you want to try it, Make your own at home. Here goes, salted caramel homemade yogurt. Mm. Oh, that is so heavenly. My new favorite yogurt of all times. Please share the love, give this one the thumbs up. If you do decide to try it, let me know. We need to get on now, make another batch of yogurt for the next episode. So you can see we've got probably about a teaspoon of yogurt left in our pot, the gift that just keeps giving. Come down here, we're gonna pop a pint of milk into a saucepan. And because I like a creamy yogurt, I'm gonna put a third of a cup of milk powder in there as well. I'm gonna take that over onto the stove and just bring it up to the boil, just so it starts to bubble on the edge. Then we're gonna come back over here and let it cool down. So I don't know if you can see there, the bubbles are just starting to rise on the edge of the pan. We're gonna take this off the heat now. We're gonna bring our close to boiling milk over to a cool pan again. And I'm just gonna give it a little whisk. 
Now, one of the things with whisking as well is it puts bubbles on top of the milk and it stops the skin from forming. Then we need to leave that on that side until it's cooled down. I think it's about 45 degrees Celsius, 110 Fahrenheit. And when you can dip your finger into it and it feels blood warm, we're gonna pop it in here and make yogurt. Now my milk is starting to come down to temperature. Now every second batch or so, I'm just gonna take some kettle water and sterilize out my thermos. I put the yogurt separate in a little pinch bowl there. I'm gonna sterilize this through. Then we're gonna take our milk, which is now down to temperature, pop it back into the thermos. Then that tiny amount of yogurt, we're just going to pop that in there. And with my whisk, I'm just gonna stir that through. Let the culture start to grow. And then we can pop our lid back on the thermos. So there you have it now. Carefully pop this down. We're just going to wrap it over in a towel as we did before. I'm gonna pop this 24 hours later or overnight. That is gonna to set to a wonderful yogurt, which may well be the yogurt that you request down below. Now, let me get on and eat my new favorite yogurt. This salted caramel yogurt is delicious. So I will see you next time. Share the love, give this one a thumbs up. See you shortly. That truly is delicious. Now I'm gonna leave some links to the other yogurts or the yogurt playlist up there. Maybe another recipe as well. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Please subscribe to the channel, stay in touch, be good, and I'll see you next time.